there is a way to be a safe, responsible, and ethical hunter. It hinges on asking yourself three questions before taking any shot at a game animal. Ask these questions in this order. First, is it safe? Second, is it legal? And third, is it ethical? The answer must be yes to each question. If any answer is no, do not take the shot. The first question, is it safe, should take you through a checklist of firearm safety considerations. Have you positively identified your target as a game animal? Are you absolutely sure of what is in front and beyond your target? Are both clear of hunters, obstructions, buildings and roadways, as well as other animals? Does the area behind the target provide an adequate backstop? Also, are you in a good shooting position to always maintain control of your firearm and keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction? Yes to all these questions? Move on to number two. Is it legal? Does harvesting this animal meet all the legal state and federal regulations for that species in the correct season, during legal shooting hours, and in that particular zone or county? Do you have the correct tag available, or will your back limits still be legal? Do you have explicit permission from the landowner to be hunting that animal at that time on that particular property? Or if you're hunting on public lands, do you have the proper permits? Yes to all the legal questions? Move on to number three, is it ethical? This one is the most difficult question. Answers to questions one and two are clearly either right or wrong. But number three, is it ethical, is more nuanced. What one person considers unethical, another person may do routinely and without a second thought. Question three is a real test of character and sportsmanship. Let's look at a few scenarios and apply the three questions. You've been drawn for a public hunt at Garner State Park to hunt exotics. You get this opportunity for a shot on an axis doe. Ask yourself the three questions. Is it safe? Is it legal? Is it ethical? You don't get very far with this scenario. Question one, is it safe? Absolutely not. Not only are there branches in the way, this doe is at the top of a hill. You have no idea what lies beyond this target. Never take a shot like this. In this scenario, you're hunting white-tailed deer from a tower blind on your deer lease in Wilson County, and you get this opportunity. Ask yourself the three questions. Is it safe? Is it legal? Is it ethical? The foreground is clear. You're shooting downward, so you've got a decent backstop, so let's call this a safe shot. What about question two? Is it legal? Wilson County is under the special antler restriction regulation, so you're going to need to take a close look at this buck's antlers. Using binoculars, you can clearly see that these antlers are within his ears and therefore less than 13 inches. Shooting this buck is illegal. What about this buck? His antlers are outside of his ears and therefore over 13 inches, so it is legal to shoot this buck but the foreground is not clear, so it's not a safe shot. Even when it's clear, he's moving, and that is not a safe shot either. How about now? He's stopped, so it's safe. We know he's legal to shoot, but what about this shot angle? Would it be ethical to take this shot? No, from the rear is the worst angle to place an accurate shot to the vital organs. It would be unethical to take this shot. You should wait for a better shot angle, such as a broadside, or pass on this buck. What about shooting this spike? He has at least one unbranched antler, so it would be legal, but the buck behind him makes the shot unsafe. You should wait for the background to become clear or pass on the shot. Did you notice that fence in the background? What if that is a property line and your bullet crosses that line? If you don't own the property on both sides of the fence and do not have written permission from the other landowner, it is illegal to fire a projectile across that property line. Even if you do have permission, many times you don't know who may be hunting or working on the other property. 
it's a bad decision to shoot toward a property line. How about this scenario? You've got a young hunter on his first dove hunt, and he hasn't harvested any dove all day. There's a dove in a nearby tree. Would you allow him to shoot this dove? Let's say it's a safe shot, and it's not illegal to shoot a perched dove in the proper season, but is it ethical? Most ethical hunters consider it more sporting to shoot dove on the wing rather than when they are perched or on the ground. But in this instance, you might allow a novice hunter to harvest a dove in this manner, just to break the ice and get a bird in his bag. So remember, whenever you're out hunting, ask the three questions before you take any shot. Is it safe? Is it legal? And is it ethical?